discovery of ancient inscriptions adds new story to the be to beginning of Bata script. Three ancient inscriptions found in North Sumatra show the possible transition from the ancient Sumatran script to the currently known Bata script. The Jarata Post Jarata Three ancient inscriptions found in North Sumatra in recent years have brought scholars a step closer to discovering how the province's native Batak, one of the oldest cultures still recognizable in Indonesia today, developed it, its, own script, its own script. Fame as fierce warriors during the colonial era, Batak people have left their mark on Indonesian history with known figures including Sisingamangaja the twelfth, who was declared a national hero in, in 1961. A man god in South Sumatra, a man god in South Jakarta was named after the Batak king. While the Batak culture can be traced as far back as 1500 BC, the discovery of three ancient inscriptions has led researchers to conclude that the Batak, the Batak began to use their own script as recently as 300 years ago. Two inscriptions were found in central Tapanuli Regency with the Bongal inscription found in 2020 and the Goga in and the Liangoga inscription found most recently in 2023. A third inscription, the Dato Gongo inscription, was found in Toba Regency in 2021. The findings were dissemin disseminated in an online seminar by the National Geo by the National Research and Innovation Regency BRIN on November 28, 2023. BRIN researcher Kurumatin Nasoika told the Jarata Post on February 27 that the researchers faced difficulties reading and identifying descriptions as they were very faded when discovered. They did, however, manage to refer to deceiver some of the language with the Datugongo inscription providing advice, while the Liangogo inscription contains spells. These two inscriptions were found preserved on cave walls. The Datugongo inscription contains advice for its people to pray where the needs would be granted by Opung, a term for ancestors in Bata language. The Ginoga inscription contains, uh, contains spells to pray to the Almighty for the people's welfare. Researchers have yet to understood the message in the Bonga inscription, which is made of tin and currently being kept at the Central Tapanuri Cultural Agency. These three inscriptions are like a uh, transition from the ancient Sumatran script to Bata script. Kumatin said, Kumatin said, Proto Bata script. The ancient Sumatra script is much older than the Batak, Inchung, Lampung, and Rejang scripts found in many inscriptions in the westernmost region in the country. The discoveries reveal the forerunner into the Bata script, possibly the development of the ancient Sumatra script, which was itself derived from the Balawa script. The ancient Sumatra script has similar characteristics, characteristics to the ancient Javanese script. Some letters in the Bata script are similar to the ancient Sumatra script, for example, the letters Ta and Ba. Other Bata letters Ka, Da, and Ga also have a similar pattern, indicating the language in transition when Kurmatin called a proto Bata script. Researchers have not been able to identify some of the characteristics in the two inscriptions as they are not part of the ancient Sumatran of Bata scripts or Bata scripts. Kurmatin said there were still many mysteries surrounding 
the three inscriptions such as whether such as whether there was there was a connection between the three inscriptions and other found in North Sumatra when the inscriptions were made and in what the context the inscriptions were used. We cannot confirm where these inscriptions were made but likely after the Hindu Buddhist era in North Sumatra or around the sixteenth to thirty 16th to 18th centuries, Kurmatin said. The 11th to 14th centuries inscriptions used the ancient Sumatran script. Then, from the 16th to the early 20th centuries, they used the old, they used all the scripts, including the Bharat script, as he said. During the time, during that time, North Sumatra was in its Hindu Buddhist period. It, it is. It is this evident in the Bahal Temple in North, Sum in North Parang Lawas region, see North Sumatra. Archaeologists estimated that the Bahal Temple was built in the 18th cent in the 11th century, associated with the Panal Panay Kingdom, which was conquered by the ja by the Sriwijaya Kingdom centered in Palembang, South Sumatra. Its reliefs represent tantric tantri rites with sensing warriors holding clubs and wearing large round ear ornaments, proving the existence of Buddhism in North Sumatra. Another example of the use of ancient Sumatran, ancient Sumatran script can be found in an inscription in Gunung Tua, also located in North Padang Lawas, that dates back to the 11th century. Under the spell, the re, uh, in the uh, that are also located in non, also located in North Sumatra Padang Lawas that dates back to the 11th century.